Welcome back to the Domination Campaign, and this should be the last battle before we can make our kingdom. And we want to take this from the Batanians, so it does go uh, to who we're with, and that way we could take it much easier. Uh, let's resolve this. Everybody's got pretty much top, so... Uh, I don't think there's any. I got 5,000 influence. Jeez. I could wreak some real havoc. Wow. Could I cause some havoc in the Northern Empire? I could start enacting a whole bunch of stuff to really hurt them if I want to. But we're going to go ahead and take this. That way I can get it back much easier. And they won't be able to do anything to me. Because I am going to end up stripping a lot of their influence. So they actually can't make an army. But the first thing we need to do is definitely take this. Uh, we are a bit down on troops. Which is also concerning. Oh, let's see. We got a bunch of Batanians, which really sucks. Do they have just injured troops? Oh, no, they don't have troops at all. Wow. Okay. Well, that's not good. Holy cow. I gotta keep the looter with me. Yeah, they need some troops. Terribly. Alright, so we can take all those. Gosh, I don't want to take any more freaking archers. We do have the morale to do this. I just feel like I got way too many archers. That will put me under the limit. There. Yeah, we only got 387 troops. Yeah, we need to uh, definitely take care of this. Let's lead this assault. Get this taken care of. Okay. I don't have formation set. Okay, Marika. Where's my Marika? I guess Marika's hurt. No, there's Marika. Healer. Okay, so Got Sagittarius. And I guess damage, damage, swing speed. All right, looks good. All right, let's rock and roll, people. Let's get this horse back, though. That's the problem with the horse. It always seems to get in the way. Not press E. Press R. Trying not to get hit. He's 
gone. Pairing them up pretty good. Come on. Over his head. They're all militia. I keep hitting that mouse button though. So it's stopping my shot. Yeah, the militia archers, they just can't do much to me. Well, there's a guy. Boom, gotcha. Take your head back out. Oh, he moved. Damn, wasn't bad. Only 65 meters, but still pretty good shot. Gotcha. Gotcha. Just a it today. Just step right out and instantly get hit. He's down. See, they're hiding behind the walls. Just missing him. Those are like really good shots. I was aiming just a little too high. Not high enough. Got you. Can I hit him? Oh. God, it feels like a good shot. Got him. 107 meters. Got you again. 106 meters. Boom. 105 meters. Fall off. Get the wall. Still look like a good shot, but no, nope, I guess not. Damn, still look like a good shot. Eh. I've pretty much taken everything. I do need to get an axe. No, I want to go up there. See what we can hit. If 
probably taking everything down down here. Hit my own guy. That was really good. Yeah, they pretty much taking care of everything. Oh, hello. Because they probably never went to that side of the wall. That's why. There they go. Unless I take the castle. Ooh, that's an idea. I should be able to actually get this castle and not have to take it. Oh, it's got to be Imperial, doesn't it? Look at that. Got to be Imperials. And it's a Fion champion, which is great. Oathsworn, okay. But... That sucks. Let's just take the regular fee on. Alright, show mercy. I don't know how I feel about that. That mechanic. Right to first refusal. I should be able to get it anyways. But now that I took this, I would own all three of the startings that I want. Although I normally like to only go with two. Uh, now that I... Now that I think about it, I don't know if I want to because all this gives is the cows and the silver. And I don't know if I really want to concentrate on that. It's actually almost smarter to let him have it back. And I can't touch the prisoners. Although everybody's going to go free when I make my kingdom. Yeah, now that I thought about it, I think it's actually smarter to let them keep it. Although there's his army. Yeah. I think it's actually smarter not to take it right now. Because I want to be able to concentrate on one fee. I don't want to have to divide my time. That is... That really got me thinking about that. Uh, I got to look at this. This has... Ooh, 300 in the garrison. Well, once they get the militia built up a little bit, I can pull him back out of there. Uh, let's see what we have in here. We're going to lose everybody out of the dungeon as soon as we peace out. They're all going to go. And that that is part of the issue is we don't have a lot of Imperial. And Imperial, we got our archers. What's my stash like? Not the best. I'm not totally happy with that. Uh, only 88, but we'll get that up. How is the town? Oh my word.
I guess we're gonna have to live with it. We don't have the forum done. We don't have the marketplace done. I would rather be training the militia. When do we got in the garrison? Yeah, I got 400 in the garrison. This is pretty much impenetrable. As you can see, 1,400 troops. So... Which I'm going to have to take a ton of them. Do I? Oh, wasn't I going to put somebody as a governor over there in the castle? Now I'm trying to remember. I was. Who was I going to put over there? I thought for sure I was going to put somebody over there. Oh, now this sucks. He, they can get plus one militia, or plus point five, and then there's another one. Oh, now I can't remember. Yeah, he's got point five, and he's got engineering. I wanted to actually get him a couple levels if possible. Okay, we're not going to worry about getting him to 125, so he's got the gear, he's got the plus 0.5 militia, and the scholar is going to be Empire. I don't think there's anything else. It would have been nice to get him another one. I can't remember where the 50. I think we're going to go stash him right now. He's going to get steward, is all he's basically going to get. Um, I th I'd say we go stash him right now. Let's just double check and make sure that he is. Yeah, he's the Empire, so let's go stash him over there as a governor. I need to stop off and get troops along the way. Wow, we are fast. And we are going to go put him as governor. Boom. That will help out tremendously because now it's getting plus two militia a day. It's going to build faster. We're going with Granary to max it. And then we're going to go Fairgrounds, which isn't actually a huge deal. There. Uh, I actually, because we're going to get plus. Uh, it's at plus one with me not being in here because I'm getting plus one from Parade. It's going to get plus three when I enact policies. So this is going to be able to get up to around 85 loyalty. I think that's actually fine. I think we can go. It's only three days. We just leave it at that. The fairgrounds. Every half, every half loyalty is... Five, I believe, loyalty. So if I did max this out, I could get it near max. But that's, it's not a big issue. So that is really ready to go. Let's double check and see what we're going on here. Because we do not want actually any more recruitment. No, I don't want recruitment. We don't need any.
All right, there, that's done. Rotate. I am recruiting from the region, which I, I don't think I need to do. I think we're good to go. All I need to do is just burn their their influence and we can make a kingdom. Six hundred fourteen Batanians. I don't know if I want to do it right now, though. They're in a big-time war. What do I get at 150? Civilian or bandits always offer to join you. Oh, I almost got 275 leadership, and I'm getting close to Minister of Health. Did my big brother get 95% reduced escape chance? Because I got 100. Yeah, he did. So, okay. I don't think they could touch my town. Do I run down and buy some more food? Food's going to be an issue. I don't know what they're doing. Alright. It's not a big deal. They can't take that. That's got 900 defenders. That's got 475. Do I run down and grab food? That's really the only thing I have left to think about. Five thousand, one thousand. I feel like I could stand one more trip to do it. Which means I could build something else. 5% taxes isn't much. Half an influence. 0.3 prosperity. Prosperity, it's not a big deal. How long would it take to build a forum? Workshop doesn't matter, it's just construction speed. 14 days. That would be enough time to get down there and back. It would give me a half an influence. That's 15 a month. Is it really that important or should I or should I keep building? And I probably should just keep going with the militia. Yeah. It's just not worth it. So let's go run down and uh, let's just go grab the food. And then we're going to drain... We have to see what happens with them. If they hold this, we'll drain their influence. If not, we're just going to max everybody's influence out. We'll give them we'll, the relation out because we're going to lose about 40 with everybody. And then we'll hold these two. And then I can use that one as bait. I'll pull everybody out of there, out of the garrison. And we'll use that as just the militia as bait is what we'll do. I forgot we got better time. I'm so used to not having it. I keep forgetting. Uh, you got better time now. The only thing now is recruiting Asurai troops. 
That is the only problem with doing this. But I guess Asteroid troops are better than having no troops. What I could do is I could break away and go grab grapes. I don't really want to run to the other side of the world for butter, meat, and cheese because we are going to get that. But olive, grapes, dates, that is going to be the issue that we're going to run into. So we're going to grab all their food and then we'll run back up. Figure out what we're going to do with the influence that we have. We got 6,000 influence sitting here. And then we'll break away. Get our policies enacted, and then start taking everybody prisoner, is what we'll do. Yikes, they don't have much here. That's not a lot. I think it takes about 10 minutes or so. I forget how long it takes to get my policies enacted. And that's why I'm, I want to be able to get as many group members as possible. Um... Yeah. yeah, they don't have much either. That's the problem with the world. That's why I have the mods to help stop some of these issues that are going on with food becoming an issue late game. So we'll just go run up here. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do with all of our extra influence. We've got 6,400. What do I have? Uh, two, night, two points short of another one. At 300, I would have got another charm. To, uh, I'm getting, what, eight, eight a day? Fifteen point four immortal charms giving me nine a day. I would have had ten. Okay, so we got that. Let's head up north. I mean, I could buy all the food from everybody else. Uh, I should see about selling. I think I've been neglecting that, haven't I? Yeah. Look at that balance jeweled. I have not been selling stuff. Uh, that should be going on a companion. Damn. More lordly 30s. All right. Okay, we're going to get up north, we're going to deposit the food, and then we're going to go over to the castle. Because we want to take the troops out of the castle, so the castle becomes the target. They're only going to have the militia. And that's where we're going to draw everybody in from. I need troops. Whoa. I wouldn't even looking at that. 
And I don't want archers. Oh, for the, please, no archers. I don't need to do anything. More archers again. Yeah, that's what I need is I need, I need meat shields. Oh, I can't go there. That That is the biggest thing that I always run into is I never have enough infantry. It seems like that every battle. And I'm going to get a lot more troops than that here in a moment. As soon as I enact those policies, oof. I am going to get a ton of troops. We'll go ahead and just take all their food as well. Bleed them dry. That food is such an issue. I should put those in my own town. Um, why am I not using those? Since they're better than stack step. Forty three of them. Oh, attack. You want as many troops as possible, since that is what gives you influence. I get, right now, 4.14 for having clan members in my army. That number is based off how big your clan army is. So, the more troops you have, the more you're going to gain each day. Which I am going to need a lot more troops here in a moment. Let's figure out what we're going to do about burning influence. Do we even care about burning their influence? Really is what it is. They are taking that, which is actually not bad. They were holding that. Uh, that's, that's actually pretty good. Um, I kind of want them to take that. So we're going to make sure everybody's full. Or do I want to do that? I can burn their influence as they're attacking that castle. We'll let them go back up there and do that. And go back in here. That way I can grab some troops. And what I should do is I should throw lower tiered troops in the garrison and let them level. We got trained. They're tier threes. So I could pull 41 tier threes and put the tier twos in there. Veteran or four. So what I could do is drop it back down here three. So that way it's not training up the tier threes into fours. It's almost, I should almost have it concentrating on and just lower tiers. So, so it does the tier ones.
Uh, now we'll leave it at three. All right, let's put the stuff in the stash, and then we should be ready to go. So not a lot of food. That 200, I actually like to have 300 of everything on me. And yeah, you can see uh, grapes. I am low on grapes. That's going to become an issue. Even though I have grapes in my town. Okay, uh, to trade, let's get rid of these. Sounds pretty. Oh, geez, I'm already over six thousand. Just not paying attention again. Oh, let's see. Um, you know what? I just don't care. All right, they're still going after. We're, that's what we're looking at right now. We're just watching that little war going on. And it's, do I want to invest in any of the, oh, wow. 900 influence. It's gonna take me a bit to drain them of influence. Um, I don't know what policies I would enact. Oh, there you go. For goodness of that. He don't like that. Six others don't. They're not spending much, though. I'm not sure how much it's draining them. Nine zero eight. He's only spending one point into it, though. They're only all spending one point. That's actually not much. Yeah. He's only spending 15 each time. They have a lot of influence. It's causing everybody's, it's causing a, seven people to do it. Um, nope. Trying to find the right policy to, right now, for getting us to that, that's how dumb the AI is, though. Uh, bailiffs? Oh, nope, they'll go for that. No. Nope. Four of them. So far, it looks like just forgiving us a debt, but. That's going to take forever to drain. Oh, what about annexation? Nope. They're all just spending one. I was almost able to override them. I probably could have done it. Council of Commons? Nope, just him. 
Looks like it's probably going to be forgiveness of debt. I see everybody's not spending a lot of influence. That's what that one line means. They're only spending one line of it. Once again. If I want to sit here long enough, I could bleed it. Because there's, what, 10, 11 people total going after forgiveness of debt. You got one, two, three, four, five. You got nine people putting 20 influence into it. How long is that going to take to burn through all their influence? It's actually not going to take a long time. That's only about 10 to 12, 10 to 15 votes would burn through everyone but the leader. They'd have no influence. Now only two people extra are doing it. We're really starting to burn through them. The leader can get away with it because he's got a ton. One is doing it. They're they're starting to run out of influence. It is crazy how much the AI values that 5% money over two loyalty. Look at that. Only three people now. It started at that plus six. And they're almost gone on their influence. I mean, he's the only one that's going to be able to make an army. Uh, you can cripple him. I don't really, and I don't know what else to do. I mean, the only thing I could do with my influence is have him start about 20 million wars. I bet I can override him doing that. Nope, 79%. They have enough to do it. I mean, I could do that. How much does that cost? It costs 50 to propose. Oh, 150 to propose. I could get them to do that. See, they're, they're getting low on influence, and it's only going to take me about three or four votes. To be able to start forcing those guys to have to spend all their influence. There's only three spending it now. Once they I think get down to about fifty to sixty, they're they're not gonna vote for it. See? He's the only one left except for that one guy. I think I could push out a ton of wars with them. Yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put plummet them into war and then leave. They won't be able to spend much because right now I'm at Only four guys voting. He's up voting it twice. Three guys. 38%. Which means he's going to have to spend a ton to override me here in a moment. Two guys left. Which I can really make him actually spend a lot. Uh, I don't know actually what the number is. 
But when I do the, oh no, it's only to override the popular vote he has to pay. Once he gets done with those two, I can actually mar start making him pay. I just don't know how much it is. I would make it even right now. Once that person goes, then he actually has to start paying. There. Now he's going to have to pay to override me. I'm losing relation with him. But I can plumb him into all the wars. Um. Whoopsie. It just cost him way too much to override me. I think the AI does not want to do that. He's going to go to war with everybody. All right, is there anything else I want to do to him before I leave? This is to keep him off my back. Um, That's just going to make more. I really want to have them. I wish everybody would get forgiveness of that. So that way we wouldn't get as many rebellions. Should I do it? Well, it's a, I have to vote for it. But that way they're not going to get as many rebellions and I don't have to deal with many rebellion clans. Is he out? Oh, he's only got a hundred. Yeah, he doesn't have much left. I could basically do anything I want. I, I should do tribunes of the people. Can't override me. So now the Northern Empire should not have a single one rebel. I don't have to deal with rebellion clans. Oh wow, I didn't know I didn't see that. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Uh anything we want to revoke. I don't want him having more food. That'll make him harder to take back. March is a good one to get rid of. We'll get rid of their militia. Alright, that looks good. Now, I could give them influence right now to make sure everybody's happy with me. I wish they had it showed it. That's what I wish. See, that's 60. That's the, that's the ruler, though. I don't care about the ruler. See, they're 54. I should make... I got to make sure they're happy with me. Because I don't need them... Coming after my stuff. Should have saved some more. There's 79. I need to make sure I don't have any really low ones. Yeah, they, I don't know if they're going to be unhappy with me. That's going to drop to about 25. They're good. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to drop. 
I don't remember if minor clans drop. But now they'll be fine with me. Uh, I need to increase them. Oh, that's it. All right, I think we can go. All right. Okay, so first thing is going to town. Make sure we... I'm going to lose those troops. All right, we should be good. All right. Uh, we got to disband our army. Leave kingdom. Keep all holdings. Still declare war. Go into town. Talk to big bro. I'm at your... All right. Leave. Army. Create. My guy's back in my army. That way I can get influence. All right. Uh, I don't really care about that. Now, we need... There, this isn't going to get touched. That's got 952 defenders. Hardwood Forest. While your party is traveling through the lands near Rote, you come across a forest rich in hardwood trees. You decide that it's time to stock up your hardwood, so you order 16 of your men to work. The men agree that it is a good opportunity to get some resources, so they do it without complaint. You don't really need much, just enough to start some smithing projects next time you come across the forge. The rest you can sell for a nice profit. Uh, cut down 11 trees, 132 pieces of hardwood. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, there's my town. Looks good. We got plus one loyalty going. So, well, that's going to go up to 100 loyalty. When I'm not here, it's going to go up 0.9. So when I enact policies, but we're getting now 17 a day, which is low. But let's head over here. That town is safe. That's got 952 defenders. We are going to need to pull troops out of here. Why am I at 277? Why am I red? Oh, now I don't have enough troops. Peace to you. Damn it. I made that mistake. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. I lost the uh, perks or the policies. I await we'll get that back in a moment. In just a moment. Go. It'll be one of my first policies, but we're going to get over here because that's where we're going to pull the troops from. So now it is enacting policy time. There we go. There we go. Now we get ultimate leader to go along with it. We are going to get... Uh, normally I would have that by now. So now I get 50 troops. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to grab those troops. Because that is going to increase... I'm at 17.66 now. And I want still seventeen point six six. Oh, it should be seventeen six six. That was the total. Accept your alliance. 
That's weird. I guess it's only your clan members group. So we we I think it's fifty. Isn't it fifty? Yeah, it's fifty for a policy. We're gonna be taking all the troops out of there. All they're gonna have is militia. I do need to worry if they're going to raid, though. I don't think they will. All right, so our first policy is very obvious. The number one policy that I always take to start off. No, where is it? Now I got to take a majesty. Yep. Three influence a day. Now it puts me up to 20.68. You can get yourself up to 25 if you got a couple beefs with Forum. Uh, your guys get some more troops. You can, you can actually do that. You have enough troops and everything where you can enact a policy every other day. It is possible to do. We're at 20.74. So now it's just about enacting policy it is all it is. It's just that long process where we need to get all these policies enacted is really what it comes down to. Uh, the very next policy that I want to get enacted is I want to get militia. I forget which one it is, but we want to get the militia ones done first. Because that's our bread and butter. That's what we're going to live off of. I forget which one it is. Which one is it? There's two to increase the militia quality, but there's one. The militia quality is increased by 10%, which we're going to want. There it is. That's it. Plus one militia. That is going to get that militia up to about 700. You can get over 800 to close. I think you could possibly get a thousand militia if you were Batanian. So that is all we have to do right now is we just need to get our policies enacted. And once we have our policies enacted, then it's time to go to war. We have pretty much everything set up unless I want to do some patrols, which we will see about doing. So we have taken that step. It is now time to get our policies done and enact our plan. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, and thanks for watching.